but I want them to know that I'm putting my heart and soul into it. And I think that the kids are as well. My name is Pilar LaFay. I have been with St. Vrain Valley since 2006. Oh, I'm a fifth grade teacher with Launch Ed. Fifth grade is absolutely my favorite grade. They, they love adults. They um, enjoy a sense of humor. They're a little quirky. They're learning about who they are in the world. They're interactive. They're excited. It's to me the absolutely perfect age to teach. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. I wanted to become a teacher because I had amazing teachers. When I was a kid, my parents were divorced and my sister and I got so much support that we didn't know at the time, but we were like one of, I think, two families where the kids were divorced. And my favorite teacher was Miss Gisorni. She was my fifth grade teacher and I wanted to give back and do what she gave to me. So that was love and caring and time and patience, making their voices heard. Because I know in my classroom, their voices are really important. You know, I ask them questions every morning. Okay, so I've got a good question this morning. I just think that that's built our community. Maya, good morning. Would you like to be a famous writer or performer? And I think it's invaluable. I feel connected to my class right now. Those 30 kids that are in front of me are my main focus. They just are. And we've created our own little community. March, April, and May of last year taught me is the most important thing was my connections to the children. I can deliver curriculum. That's not a problem. One of my friends said it this way, I, you need to come through the screen to the children. And that was my biggest goal, was that I reach them as if I was with them in person. You know, that was the hardest thing about not seeing them in person was, you know, just that connection of like, okay, if they're having a bad day, I can give them a hug. But I've had students that have had bad days during this time, and I've taken the time with them to deal with their frustrations as well. They still have that, even though it may not be physically. And one of the things I really stressed with my parents was that I want the kids to come to me during the day, that I don't want the parents to feel like they're homeschooling. And I've told the kids, if we are coming in and out of a WebEx meeting all day with me, that's fine. I said, the only time I log off is from 12 to 1230 because I'm usually teaching in my basement and I just come up for lunch. <laughs> but besides that, I said, I want them to come to me first. This is my 22nd year of teaching. So I do feel like I'm a new teacher. I have an amazing team. So there's eight fifth grade teachers. We all have different things that we're good at. So my teammate, Bob Reed, is amazing at making instructional videos. I'm good at making checklists for the kids. Um, another teacher is really good at making choice boards. So what we've taken is this group of eight teachers that have been in the district a really long time. We, we're all collaborating and it's a safe place and we're working together. Having taught fifth grade for so long, we as a team know where they need to be and where they need to go. And that's where I think St. Vrain made the best decision to have a teacher connected with the Launch Ed curriculum. I think my kids are going to be, is, are going to excel this year, just as much as they would in the classroom. Yes, I'm working harder than I have probably since my first year of teaching, but I know that during this time, I want them to feel like, okay, I'm not lacking anything because I'm home, I'm actually, getting what I would get in person. And I think that that's been our goal as a team for sure. I'm putting my heart and soul into it. And I think that the kids are as well. So if my students 25 years from now, what they would want about, know about me during this COVID year, it makes me emotional to think about that, but I want them to know that I was here for them and that I made our classroom fun I made it engaging, I'm tearing up. <laughs> but I want them to know that in this time, I try to make it as normal as we can. And that they have a teacher that loves them and respects them and is there for them. And that's what I hope from this school year.